Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we're looking at the AP 2019 AP Calculus AB free response questions and how we're looking at number two here. So the velocity of particle P moving along the x-axis is given by the differentiable function VP where VP is measured in meters per hour and T is measured in hours. Selected values for VP of T are shown in the table above and particle P is at the origin at time T equals zero. Justify while there must be at least one time T between here and here for which vp prime of t, uh, the acceleration of the particle equals zero. So this one we're going to do by, uh, this is talking about a slope. And if I look at 3 and 2.8, you see the velocity is the same. And so um, we use, this is called mean value theorem that we would use for this one. So by mean value theorem, um, there exists, this is the symbol for there exists, um, for shorthand, uh, a time c such that, um, VP prime of C is equal to the secant line slope, which would be um, VP of 2.8 minus VP of 0 0.3 divided by um, 2.8 minus 0 0.3, and that's equal to 0. Uh, uh, C, uh, there exists C between technically 0 0.3 less than C less than 2.8. Now, one of the conditions for mean value theorem that we need to confirm is that VP is uh, differentiable, and that is given to us. VP is differentiable. Is given to be differentiable. It never hurts to, to highlight that point um, to apply mean value theorem, because mean value theorem would only work for a differentiable function. Okay, so use a trapezoid sum with three subintervals here, here, and here to approximate the value of this. So trapezoid rule means I average the y values and multiply by the interval width. So I'm going to do 0 0.3. So it's approximately equal to 0 0.3 times 55 plus 0 over 2 plus this interval width is 1.4 times 55 minus 29 over 2 or plus negative 29 plus this interval is 1.1 times um, negative 29 plus 55 divided by 2. And then we just simply do this on our calculator. 0.3 times 55 divided by 2 plus 1.4 times 55 minus 29 divided by 2 plus 1.1 times uh, 55 minus 29 divided by 2. And that is 40.75. Now this is a uh, displacement because it's the area under uh, velocity. And so that's in meters. Second particle Q also moves along the x-axis, so that's velocity 0 less than equal t less than equal to 4 is given by this equation. Find the time interval in which the velocity of particle Q is at least 60 meters per hour and find the distance traveled by particle Q during the interval when the velocity of particle is at least 60 meters per hour. Okay, so first I need to find these times. Like when does this happen? Okay, so if I use my calculator, I did a similar like when I do it before is um, I plotted first, I plotted um, what y4, uh, sorry, for in y4 I plotted this equation. Um, 45 square root of cosine 0 0.03 times x squared. And then because I want to know when it's greater than 60, I subtract 60 and I want to plot this one. And then I can look for the zeros. It's easier to find zeros. You could also plot y equals 60 and then find the intersection points. Um, I prefer to, well, why we, don't we do it that way? Well, no, no, I, I like it this way because the zero function is just sort of automatic. So you can also subtract 60 and then find when it's zero. And that's the same thing as saying when this equation would be 60. So the window I wanna say is zero to four. And why don't we graph that and see. Perfect. So now I want to look for the zeros. Left bounds about there, right bounds about there. So the first time this happens at is 1.866. Okay, so t equals 1.866. Also, the other time this happens, as I can calculate, zero. Here, we'll make the right bound 4, and then we'll guess at 4. We'll get 
uh, 3.519. Okay, so th during these two time periods is when um, the velocity is over 60, right? So, um, yeah. So, yeah, basically I I'll set this up. VQ of t is equal to 60 at these points. So find the distance traveled. The distance traveled is always the integral, 1.866 to 3.519, technically the absolute value of v, VQ of T, DT. Technically, because it's over 60 uh, meters per hour, um, it's always positive, so you don't have to put the absolute values. Technically, it, it, it won't change the answer, but technically distance traveled is absolute value. So do math nine integral from 1.866, 3.519, Integral of VARES, I think I used Y4. And a grade over X. I got 106.1 meters. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, at time t equals zero, particle Q is at position negative 90. Use a result from part B. And, the, and approximate the distance and the function of VQ from part C to approximate the distance at times 2.8. So I need to know the position of Q, and he starts at negative 90, and then I gotta see what his displacement is over this time, VQ of t, dt. And so then I just kinda do math nine again. I'm gonna integrate from zero to 2.8 of vers y vers function four dx. Oh, I need to subtract 90 from this too, by the way. And minus 90. And I get 45.938 meters. Okay. And our approximate position for uh, position P, well, it started at the origin, so its, it's displacement was 40.75. So the distance between them is just this minus this. So 45.938 minus 40.75 is equal to 5.1988 meters, 88 meters. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, let me know um, how you did or if you have any questions about it and I'll see you in the next video.